Hi there! How are you? Are you done greeting your family a happy Sabbath? Well, let's say it together. Happy Sabbath! We hope you are all safe despite the weather these days. And we want also to greet you a welcome back to... Kids of Hope! Kids, have you ever experienced your mom or dad telling you to be quiet and listen while inside the church? If yes, then did you obey? Did you keep quiet and listen to the person speaking on stage? This Blessed Sabbath day, we will be discussing and learning more about... Obedience! Kids, grab your songbooks and Bible as we'll explore more today! Let's pray! Dear Heavenly Father, we gather in your presence today to worship and praise you through songs and prayers and words of praise. Fill this place with your love and grace as we honor and adore you today. Forgive us from our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. of the day is found on 2 John 1 verse 6. And this is love that we walk in obedience to His commands. As you have heard from the beginning, His command is that you walk in love. First of all, kids, do you know what the meaning of obedience is? The word obedient comes from a Hebrew word shama, which means to hear intelligently. In Oxford definition, it means that complying or willing to comply with orders or requests. In Christian aspect, it means that hearing the word of God and acting on it. As the question earlier, this means that if you keep quiet and listen while inside the church as what your mom or dad told you, that means you obey them. Kids, before we will dwell more with our topic today, let's all stand and sing... Jesus loves the little children. Yeah. 
loves the little children. Not just here in the Philippines, not just here in Kids of Hope, but... All the children of the world. Jesus loves each one of us. Kids, do you know what is the nearest conference here in SPUC? Raise your hand if you know it. This conference is also found here in Cagayan de Oro City. Well, kids, join us as we... Explore more with the kids today at North Central Mindanao Conference. Thank you, North Central Mindanao Conference, for your time with us. What is the importance of being obedient, kids? Being obedient is our way to show to someone that we love him or her. Same to Jesus. We walk in obedience to his commands. And with his walk, it shows love. Kids, are you ready? As our Let's Sing friends will teach us a song related to obedience. Good! Let's see! Hey, Let's Sing friends! Glad to have you back as we sing songs for Christ! Everything is perfect, and in return, we have to live for Jesus. Dare to shine your light! Let us learn and sing Dare to be a Daniel! Sing with us!
Friends, the world we live is full of pain, challenges, and temptations. So God dares all of us to stand firm in Him as we wait for His soon return. Let's not forget our main destination, which is heaven, where we can gain eternal life. There will be a lot of crossroads, but let us choose the right path. Dare to choose Him every day and now. God, God is, is waiting for you. you. Don't forget to invite your friends and family to join us in learning and singing songs. Thank you, Letting Friends, for singing with us. See you again next Sabbath, kids, only here on Let's Sing! A blissful Sabbath morning, kids! It's another day to celebrate the wonderful love of Jesus. Yes, that's right. I always cite it every Sabbath and to learn more about Jesus. Kids, did you know that on the fifth day, God created all the creatures that fly? And that includes beautiful and colorful butterflies and bugs and bees. The butterflies, bugs, and bees are just one of the marvelous creations of God. That's true, and they remind us how God made all things bright and beautiful. Talking about butterflies, bugs, and bees, today we will be learning another song about it. We will use our fingers for a butterfly, bumblebee, and ladybug. I can't wait, Ati Sophia. Me too. How about you, kids? I know you feel the same way with us. Let's now ready our fingers and let's sing. Here are fingers in tune. Butterfly, 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 butterfly.
have so much fun, Auntie Sophia. Same here, Bidon. The next time, I will see butterflies, bumblebee, and ladybug. I'll use my fingers to form them and sing the song. Kids, let's do it again. Butterfly, bumblebee, and ladybug. Every time we see butterflies, bugs, and bees, let us not forget to thank God for His awesome creation. Always remember how God loves you and me so much. All things bright and beautiful. The Lord God made them all. This is Binda. And this is Sophia. See you next time here on Fingers in Tune! Being obedient also can show that we trust that person. That if we obey, we will not be in trouble. D. Bailey shares that learning obedience helps start the right way. Continue the right way and finish the right way. Obedience is a lifetime of learning from the Lord's perfect love. Obedience is an attitude of the heart towards God. You and I can obey when it is an easy task. But how about when we are in pain, when we are suffering? Do we have the strong courage to obey? We must continue to walk in obedience. God cares for us. We can experience Him as we walk in obedience. He knows if we obey or not. He will never leave us. Friends, guess what? It's activity time! Hello boys and girls! Good morning! Welcome to our Healthy Kitchen! kitchen. Yes, we have here Janelle, Janine, and Chantal. Say hi to hi. them. Hi. Yes. Excited na ba mo sa atong bagong menu? Yes. Of course, ang atong menu karon is Energy Bites. Uy, so ano Energy Bites man, no? So, let's see. Our ingredients for today, we have here... Chocolate chips. Yes. Yeah, chocolate and oats. Rolled oats. Honey. 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 All right, peanut butter. So first, kids, listen. We're going to put the rolled oats first here, and then followed by can you follow then then the mga ingredients, and then we're going to mix it, huh? We mix nato, and then we're going to make it like that bowl, and then mo na dayon, makau na dayon siya. Okay, so Dari ko sa kilid Nag-wash na ni sila Hands, ha? Okay Move gamay dito para makang si Janel Eh, hurot, oh You put the honey at the Janel Yeah Sige, okay You can also Put some dates if you have. Okay. Honey. Kung walay honey, you can also use maple syrup. Yeah. All. Sige sige. Ina lang kay mahu mo dirty ang. Okay. Mommy and Daddy ipatry gina to sila ang mga bata para ma enjoy sila. All right, then you're going to mix it. Yes. Excuse me, Naila. Okay. Naila. Yes, this one at the. This one. 
Okay. All right. <laughs> Sharo dili ma mix to look abok ang mix. <laughs> All right. Hapit na ma mix. All right. Then I see. Okay, pwede na na siya. Make it some. Okay. Okay. I will. I will show you how, ha? Huh? How to do it? Then you're going to put it in your palm, and then you make it like this. You can use gloves. Ako na lang maghold para di mo madut. Okay, and then after ma form, ibutang dain siya sa sa ref para mag confirm. Yeah, dili siya mabungkag dayo. All right. So, Janine, do it once you try. Okay. So. This is the result. Mona di atong output. Di ba, kids? Yummy ka yun tan awon. Pwede nyan siya nga treats atong mga kids, and it's very healthy. Okay, who wants to try? Okay. 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 You wipe it. Yeah, it's tricky, but the result, lamig gina siya. Oh, if you have gloves, you can use gloves. Para later, later. Okay, kana ta. Okay, until next time, kids. Bye bye na. Bye. Welcome to another episode of Psykid! Has someone promised you something? Did you believe that promise? Why did you believe? Why not? God has a lot of promises for us in this Bible. Sadly, not everyone believes God's promises. Why? This Sabbath, we will again use science to help us understand this concept. Today, I have a friend who will help me perform our experiment. She will introduce herself. Hi, my name is Raymond. I am five years old. And I study at Golden Bollywood Adventist Elementary School. Like you one, I also like science. Experiments. Because they are fun. It's nice to know that, Ray. Do you mind introducing the materials for our experiment today? Yes. For this experiment, we need 10,000 and water, 50 and all of glycer, one tablespoon of liquid dish, and washing soap. Full steer, squeeze sauce, water, cover, and cotton gloves. Now that the materials are ready, let's get started! First, pour the water into the clear container. 100 there. And then, pour it. Next, Add the glycerin or corn syrup. We need to add about 50. Then add the liquid soap. Then stir or mix. 
enough to mix it properly. Next, get the squeeze sauce bottle cover, what is this, and cut about one third of a bottle head. But we don't need scissors. Since it is hard for us to do it, we already asked the help of an adult to cut it. Are you ready for the last step? Yes. Let's try to cut what comes out of a squeeze sauce bottle cover with our hand. Ha! <laughs> a bubble super squid and they will burst. Next, let's try cutting the bubbles with our gloved hands. What do you think will happen? What do you think will happen? Look at what? The bubbles do not burst but easily. To make sure. Okay. What just happened? The glycerin help slow down water evaporation in the bubbles and makes the bubbles last longer. The oil in our hands breaks the surface tension of the bubbles. The gloves, however, keep the bubbles from direct contact with our skin oils. Here is an important lesson from our bubble experiment today. God's promises are like the bubbles. They are meant to last long. In fact, they are forever. The gloves represent faith. Catching the bubbles without gloves is impossible because they break. Only when we have faith can we catch God's promises and they can stay in our hearts to encourage us. Do you have examples of God's promises? The ones that you told are forever? Uh, sure, eh? Two of them are found in Philippians 4.19 and Mark 11.24. Can you recite them? You can be sure that God will take care of everything you need. His generosity exceeding even yours. In the glory that pours from Jesus. Philippians 4.19 Therefore I will tell you whatever you ask for in prayer. It will be yours, Mark 11, 24. Thank you, Ray. Kid of Hope, God's promises are not only beautiful and forever, but they help remind us that God is always there, taking good care of us always. We just have to wear our gloves of faith so we can catch these promises and keep them in our hearts. Alright, we hope that you have enjoyed our experiment today. Do this at home and remember its important lesson. That's all for this Sabbath. See you next time here on Sunny Kid! If you're wondering, kids, how to obey, we will share with you some steps. First, having a relationship with God to please Him because we love Him. The second step is by reading the Holy Bible every day. The Holy Bible has so much to tell about being obedient to our parents and to God. This will help us to know what is right and wrong and to mold us to become a better person. Third is prayer. Prayer is our way to communicate to God. There are many kinds of situations in life where we must apply obedience. We need God's help through the Holy Spirit to help us. Kids, can you wave your hands if you are still with us? Great! This time it's... Story Time!
today. I hope you guys had a great one. Today, I have a very, very cool story. This story is about a kid named Sian. And Sian was nine years old. Anyone nine years old here? Hmm? Well, me, I'm not, but Sian was. Sian came from a very special family. Why was, why was this special family? Because Sian's family was rich. And I'm not talking they had a money. Sian's family had a lot of money. They are what we call wealthy. Just like a king and queen, they lived in royalty and they usually have a lot of servants and staff. Sian throughout his whole life got anything he wanted and bought anything he asked for. So one day, Sian goes to an antique shop with his mother. You guys don't know what an antique shop is? Well, it's just like a shop. You can buy usually older things but just different stuff for your house decorations, bookshelves. Antique shops have at all so they went to an antique shop and Sian was walking around and staring at this and looking at that but then Sian notices that there's this thing covered with a blanket and he runs over and grab the blanket and he throws it off and you know what he sees he sees a big mirror and Sian says, I want this in my room. So he runs to his mom and he says, hey mom, I want this mirror. Can we buy this mirror? The mother says, Sian, do you really need a mirror? He says, yes, I want this mirror. I want this to put this in my room. You know, kids of hope, just like normal, Sian got what he asked for. So they bought the mirror and Sian's parents put it in his room. And then his parents left. So it was just Sian and his mirror in his room. As Sian walks up to his mirror and he puts a big smile on it. But you know what? You know how mirrors usually show your reflection? Well, Sian's reflection wasn't smiling back. All he could see was a big frown. Sian's like, I think my mirror's broken. So he steps out of the mirror and jumps back and smiles even bigger. Like that. But the mirror didn't smile back. It was frowning again. Sian didn't know what to do. He was smiling as big as he could, but the mirror kept frowning back. Sian couldn't believe it. He said, what's the matter with the mirror? Sian said, you know what? I'm gonna try again tomorrow morning. So he covers up the mirror when he goes to bed. So, the next morning, Sian wakes up, brushes his teeth, does 
all the morning duties. And he says, I'm gonna try this again. So he takes off the blanket and smiles. And he looks at the mirror. And the mirror is, as you guess it, frowning. Just frowning back at Sian. Sian's like, you know what? I'm tired of this mirror. So, Sian goes to the park to play. So now Sian's at the park and he's just doing his things as he normally does. He's just playing there in the playground, but he noticed there's a kid crying. This kid is about four or five years old. He's just crying his eyes out. Sians runs over and he says, Hey, what's the matter? The kid look at Sian and he says, I can't find my parents. Where are my parents? Can you help me please? And Sian says, yeah, I'll help you find your parents. So he grabbed the kid's head and they start walking. And Sian sees a mother and a father and he runs over and he says, hey, hey, I found your kid. And they look at Sian and the kid and they say, that's not our kid. And Sian looks at the kid and now the kid crying even more. So they were walking and they're walking and walking and Sian can't find the kid parents. But the kid crying even more. So Sian's like, you know what? Let's go. Let's get a snack. Sian goes with the kid and he buys the kids some stuff to eat and ice cream and they go back to the park and then he asked the kid you have to help me find your parents because i don't know how they look like so the kid looks around and he sees his parents he says those are my parents those are my parents so Sian grabbed the kid and they ran and Sian says, Hey, hey, I think I got your kid here. The parents looked down and they said, Yeah, that's our kid. That's him. Sian looks over and the kid is smiling and the parents are smiling and they are so happy. They thought they lost their kid. As Sian's walk home and he checked his pockets, he has no more money. So Kids of Hope, he can't stop by by the store to buy anything. So he gets home. He doesn't go to the store anymore. He stands in front of the mirror and he felt really, really good about helping that kid. And Sian didn't even have to try. He was just smiling on his own. And you know what he saw in his reflection in the mirror? Guess what? The mirror was smiling back at Sian. You see, kids of hope, this mirror was special. This mirror will show you how really felt inside and Sian learned that day it wasn't all the stuff he would buy at the store that would make him happy but what made him happy especially on that day was helping someone else you see Sian realized seeing someone else happy made him happy and getting in and being able to help someone when they, they needed help gave Sian 
a very, very feeling happy in his, in his heart. So remember, kids of hope, helping a friend, help someone out, help someone else be happy and just lend your hand to them. Just like what Jesus did with us. Jesus was always trying to help people. That's where happiness was found when we help each other. So remember, kids of hope, in Philippians chapter 4, verse 4, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice the good news. The only source of true happiness is the Lord. And all the things you receive in your life that will give you happiness are because you believe in God. brothers and sisters in Christ, good morning and happy Sabbath to you all. My name is Isaac C. Adams from Villa Nueva Seventh-day Adventist Church, and it is my greatest honor to share with you a story entitled, A Giver and Not Just a Taker. Our Bible verse is found in Matthew chapter 10, verse 8, said that freely you have received and freely give. Brothers and sisters, God gave us two hands, the one to receive and the other one to give. Do you know, my friend, God wants us to be givers and not just takers of his blessings. I will show you an illustration. There were beggars, a mother and a son. Her little boy were begging for food in a street corner. Later on, a rich man looked at them but didn't offer any help. As the rich man arrived at his palace home and had the finest food on the table, he began to think about the poor, hungry little beggar and his mother who were begging for food. Do you know that the man thought at that moment? The more he thought of them, the angrier he became at God. And he cried out and said, God, why don't you do something to help them? But later on, deep within, he realizes and came God's answer. I did. I created you. So the lesson that we can get in this short passage is that Jesus said, freely you have received and freely give. My friend, 
God wants us to be givers and not just takers of his blessings. We are encouraged to share what we have in our pocket. If we do not have finances, we can share a smile. We can also give a compliment like, you did a good job. You're so beautiful today. Thank you for your time. We can also give out those unused clothes and utensils in your house. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we can share our blessings in any form. It might be financial support, engagement in the ministry of God, giving compliments, share our kindness, and more. God said in 2 Corinthians 9, verse 7, it says, Each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctant or under conclusion. For God loves a cheerful giver. May I ask everyone to bow down our head? Let's pray. Dear Father, help us not to be selfish what we have given to us and be grateful to what we have. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you for listening to my sermon, everybody. Bye-bye! Learning to obey is the important aspect of the Christian faith. The Bible teaches about the significance of obedience to God's commands and instructions. Ani ay mga pipila ka mga bersikulo sa Biblia nga nagpasiugda sa kahinong danon sa pagkamasinog tanon. Una, John 14 verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. Ikaduha, 1 Samuel 15 verse 24. But Samuel replied, Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as in obeying the Lord? To obey is better than sacrifice, and to heed is, is better than the fat of rams. Ikatulo, James 1 verse 22. Do not merely listen to the word, and so deceive yourselves. Do not know what it says. Ikaupat, Matthew 7, 24 to 25. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built the house on the rock. The rain came down and the streams, and the streams rose and the winds blew and beat against the house. Yet it did not fall because it had its own foundation on the rock. Kini nga mga bersikulo naghatag o gibug aton nga ang pagsunod sa Dios o sa kapagpahayag sa atong gugma alang kaniya. Dili lamang kini na mahitungod sa paggawas sa mga ritual o mga sakripisyo apan mahitungod sa kasing-kasing nga tinguha sa pagsunod sa iyang mga sugo o pagkinabuhi sumala sa iyang kabubuton. Ang tinuod nga pagka masinugtanon naglakip sa pagdapat sa pulong sa Dios o pagpahiuyon sa atong mga lihok o tinamdan sa iyang pagtulunan. Ang Biblia nagpasiugda usab nga sa nga kaayuhan o mga panalangin nga mabatunan sa pagsugot sa Dios ang pagkamasulundon nagtukod og ligon nga pundasyon sa atong kinabuhi nga makahimo kanato nga makasugakod sa mga unos og mga hagit nga moabot kanato nagdala kini og pagbati sa kasiguruhan kaalam og giya samtang kita mo salig sa pagkamatinod anon sa Dios og mo pasakop sa iyang otoridad ang mga pagkaton sa pagsunod naglakip sa pagkaandam, sa pagtugyan sa atong mga kaugalingon, kabubuton o mga tinguha ngadto sa kabubuton sa Diyos. Nagkinahanglan kini o pagpaubos, hugot nga pagtuo o usaka espiritu nga matudluan. Pinaagi sa pagampo, pagtuon sa mga kasulatan o 
pagpangita sa balaang espiritu, kita mo tubo sa atong pagsabot sa mga sugo sa Diyos o pagkatoon sa paglakaw diha sa pagsunod diha kaniya. In summary, obedience to God is an important part of the Christian journey. It is an expression of our love for Him and a response to His teachings and instructions. As we learn to obey, we experience the blessings that come from aligning ourselves with His will and build a solid foundation of our faith. Luke 11.28 says, Here we plant. Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. And John 14 verse 23, Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Kids, it's easy to do something when we do it out of love, even when it's not comfortable for us. Let's not forget that we obey not because you are forced, but because of love. Kids, we are so blessed that you stayed with us until the end. Thank you so much. We hope that you learned a lot today. Kids, let's discover more about Jesus by... Being with us again next Sabbath and to... Experience more of God's amazing wonders on... Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for being us today. Thank you for teaching us today. Thank you for loving us today. May the Father go with us. May the Son go with us. May the Spirit work in us. Amen. <laughs>